Hello everyone and welcome to episode 13 of this Total War Rome Remastered Let's Play as Egypt. Um, it's been a little while since I recorded the last episode just because I've really been really busy with work. I've been staying at my girlfriend's for the last couple of days um, because it was her 30th birthday so we've been celebrating that. Um, I also had to pick her up um, because she just arrived back from New York at the tail end of last week as well um, and we are in the middle of a ridiculous heat wave here in the UK as well. So, um, yeah, it's just, I'll be honest, right now it's about quarter past midnight on Wednesday, the 20th of July. Um, and I'm only recording this now because I can't sleep and um, it's still just way too hot. So I thought I would do an episode before I went to bed. So that's what we're going to do now. And we're going to dive on straight in. And I think we're just going to start by attacking Sardis. Uh, we can't actually do that yet. Oh, wait. Yes, we can. Looks like our spies have opened the gates. Let's have that. Let's do it. Okay, so here's what we really have to worry about. We can beat all their militia hoplites. And they have their scythe chariots. Right, let's have it. You might notice, well hopefully you'll notice, that the um, the aspect ratio of this video is slightly different. Um, so I have a 34 inch ultra wide uh, Alienware monitor. So I've been recording in th uh, 3440 by whatever it is. Um, and I understand that it doesn't actually so show up particularly well on normal monitors or if you're watching this video on a TV, if you're using YouTube via your TV. Hopefully this will look better for you all. Um, it won't look quite so stretched and it will fill your monitors better. Um, so if you prefer this aspect ratio, please do let me know. Or actually if you prefer me to go back to what I was doing, just leave me a comment down below and we will make that happen. Um, one other thing I've been thinking about is, um, do you want me to start cutting out these load screens? Um, and like whenever I'm going through these load screens, just pause the recording and pick it back up when we're going through. Um, so you don't have to listen to me uh, waffle on about nothing. Um, but if you don't, but if you don't mind me waffling on, easy. then that's fine. Just it let me know. Right, what can we do without his nattering? Okay, so this is it. This is the last Seleucid settlement. And we're going to take him out. So, how are we going to go about this? Hmm. It's a pretty direct route. What about this route? Where does this take us? Is that a route through there? It is. Goes round the outside, round the outside. Ch -ch -ch -ah. You can tell it's very late at night because I'm talking shite. Right, okay, so I think we probably should do a two pronged attack just because it makes sense to do so. Um, what should we do? Oh, didn't press shift. There we go. Okay, um, you know what, I'm actually going to do three groups. So like this, group you guys, and then we're going to have a wee little expeditionary force that's going to go right the way around here. I might even leave them out there until the last minute, I haven't decided yet. But we are going to focus our bowmen on one particular side. This side. Okay, where are they all? They're all over there. Let's do that. And this. Okay, they actually have more men this side where I don't have my archers, which is a little bit annoying. Move over here. Speed this up a little bit. What I don't want to happen is to get shot by that watchtower. Because that would be a dreadful waste. I just need to keep a little bit of an eye open. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Love to see it. 
So we shall let them begin. What do they got over here? Militia hot potatoes, some levy pikemen. Where are these scythe chariots? These are the boys I want to see. Here we go. Oof. I'm going to pike you all, but... Oh, he's disappeared. That's pretty badass right there. He looks like a character from uh, that you'd expect to build in um, Mountain Blade Bannerlord. Alright. They're done. Lovely. That's one entire unit taken out. Okie dokie. What next? Annoyingly, they're focusing on these two avenues where my bowmen can be least effective. Because Sod's Law. Um, so what I am going to do is start moving in. You two there. You two. Oh, no. There. And you two can just chill out here. And then the, uh, hopefully that will elicit some sort of response. And we can just archer them as they come in. Oh, here we go. Come on, you know you want to do something about it. Okay. So far they're happy to just let me do what I want to do. So let's move up. No rush. See if anything happens yet. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What have we got coming at us? Militia cav. I really hope that these watchtowers are now ours. Nope, they're not. Shit on it. Shit on it. Back, 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 back. Oh, we've lost some archers. Bollocks. Right, we, we learned a lesson. We learned a lesson. So we're just going to do that. And this. See how they're like that. Can the archers reach? They can. Excellent news. Right, boys. Do your thing. So they had 110. Given that they're just missile cavalry, this should be fairly effective. Bowmen! Bowmen! Spearmen! Spearmen! Units! Bowmen! Bowmen! Units! Bowmen! Bowmen! Hurry! Units! That. How are we doing over here? Pretty well. This is looking good. Oh. Nice. Let's keep moving forward. They're pretty much done. Well, halfway done. Okay, apparently there's still 49 left, but I'm not seeing 49 here. They must be somewhere else.
Okay, they're hiding. I think it's about time we start getting these boys involved. Oh, there are the rest of them. In you come. How are we doing over here? Oh, nicely. And how are we getting on over here? Oh. Well is the answer. And how about over here? Nice. Peppering them there. And that unit's quite significantly weakened. Hopefully this doesn't bug out and do something really dumb. How are we getting on? Well. Yep, this is all looking good. We're doing ammo wise. We're doing okay. Oh, we need to just be careful that they don't suddenly just absolutely. Come on, kill that one guy. There we go. Alright, form up. You guys move there. Oh, that is quite a lot of javelins. I think it's time to get a bit of moral support going. Move you up here. Right, archers, do your thing. Not going to hang around there. That's costing us. Right, okay. Looks like we've done well here. Right, things are happening. Let's take these three and do that. Right, we want to start closing in now. I'll trust this to be the time that the bloody chariots decide to make an entrance. Right, here come the cavalry. Right, pikes down, everyone. Right, point blank on them, please. Good. Oh, wait. No, not good. Not good at all. Really not good. Bollocks. <sighs> okay. You could just get that ASAP. So I made it. I made a boo boo. And I managed to get my Nile Spearman killed by Militia Cav. Because I'm an idiot. 
Not cause they don't call me general incompetence for nothing, I'll have you know. I earned this name. Come on. Oh. Balls. There we go. I'll put you there. And use here. You there. You continue crawling up there. Oh, wait. Hikey bikes. Okay. Right. These bowmen are now out of ammo, I believe. So we're going to want to retreat them sooner or rather later. What are you doing there? Okay. You finish firing? Both of you? Come on, take out the chariots. You guys, what are you doing? Move! You absolute weirdos. Okay, these are all out of ammo, so let's pull them back. Right, let's let my archers do their thing over here. We've been victorious on this side. Let's just hold here for a moment until we start moving in. Definitely don't want to be using our cav right now. What are you doing? What is this unit doing? Get back. Let the archers work their magic. Okay, we need to be careful. You know what? Run. Looks like we're holding well. Lovely. They're running straight into my pikes. Oh, look at this. Oh, they're running amok. Okay, just kill them. They're going to do more damage to us than them at this point. How many left? Four left. Oh, that's pretty much it. Two left. Bye. Good. They've buggered off. So these guys are next. They are being absolutely murdered. Okay. You three, I think we can start moving forward. Surely you guys can handle this. Just stick the horses with your pipes. It's not difficult. Here we go. Well done. That's better, isn't it? Well done, fellas. that we're victorious over here as well oh shit things are happening move over there keep moving forward over here get them boys Oh, 
Oh. Come on. Bring him down, fellas. Shouldn't be difficult. Down come the phalanx, and this is where they should all die very quickly. There's something very satisfying about killing cavalry with spearmen. Very, very satisfying. Especially when they, like, just charge directly at you and all immediately die as a collective. That is very fun. Okay, keep moving forward, boys. Speed this up. We're holding over here. As you see, our Nile Spearmen really are much better than the Militia Hoplites. Just pedaling through them. Well, so see, this is the, gonna be the this is gonna be the tough test, and that's their faction leader. A charge from him is going to be annoying, right? Okay. I'm going to bring forward these units. We're going to need everything we can to deal with this. Come on, pike them all. Oh, here they come. Oh boy. Please hold. Please hold. Alright, what are these lads doing? Take out them, that's one lonely cavalryman. He shall die. There we go. Yeah, even though we've got our pikes down, they are doing a lot of damage, yeah. Shit. <laughs> this was always going to be the case, even against pikemen. Yeah. Well, we are now moving in in force. Take out that last guy there. You guys just move in. You guys move in. Tempted to move. I am going to move him in. Yeah, now they're coming back. That's what I thought. I want them to not be able to go anywhere without charging into an entire wall of pikes. Come. Hold your ground. That's him right there. 
Right, at least we were properly formed up. Get in there. There we go. Yes. That changes everything. The tide is now turning. Yes. Ah, oh, sweet victory. The Seleucid King is dead. His settlements are ours. His people are no more. And by Nile Spearman is still routing. It's the last stand of the Seleucids. Oh, that was a bad one. Stop running away. We're winning. Like, actually winning right now. Oh, five left. You can level up all you like. It's not going to save you. One more. Right. This is, I believe, the last Seleucid warrior. F in the chat for the Seleucid Empire. Here it goes. And that is it. Woo! We did it! Smashed it. I mean, we did kind of lose quite a few, but that's okay. These things do happen. We can retrain. But the war with the Seleucids is now over. It's finished. Done and dusted. We have conquered them. We've expanded our empire. Gained territory. Love it. And now we can move on to other wars. Because we've got our incoming war against Parthia. We have got the really annoying issue of war with the Romans now. Um, and, well, we've obviously bought temporarily. Well, for now, the loyalty of Macedonia. We'll have to see how long that holds. There they go. See ya. Glorious victory. Oh. Okay. What should we do? Should we massacre the population? I think so. And we've now got the Temple of Artemis. What does that do for us? Reduces the cost of new religious buildings by 30%. We'll take that. And there go the Seleucids. Have some of that. Right, the first thing we want to do... Get rid of this. Let's check corruption. Corruption is fairly high. So, mm, are we going to be doing a lot of recruitment here? Maybe. We'll put, we'll put a temple to Horus. Mix things up a bit. Increase the tax. Retinue expands. Decorated hero. So 20% discount on unit training. That's good. Take that. Right. Oh, one. <laughs> Put in all of that. Okie okay, That is good. This is good news. And it frees up this fleet. Well, what shall I do with this fleet? Blockade some, some of the ports? Maybe. My eyes are yours. None shall see. Oh dear. None Silly shall Macedonians. See. Silly sausages. Okay. 
Okay, everyone is going where they should be going. Uh, we're recruiting. Yeah, this is all good. This is all good news. We're we recruiting here because, yeah, we are. So that's important. We've got stuff going on there. How are we doing here? Yeah, making some good progress. And here yeah, we have a lot of spare generals. So we will need to repurpose them because we want to keep them moving and shaking. What's happening here? We're currently neutral with Pontus, but we do want to keep an eye on them. And we've got two spies here. So I'm going to put you there and send you over here. Okay, looks like I can't. I mean, I can't see any current military threats. Sire. Right, I know that we were planning on moving on some armies over here and what have you. So we need to remember to do that at some point. Assassin ready. Now. Okay, I think it's time to move on. Oh, at night, it's now quarter to one in the morning and it is so hot here. I'm absolutely dripping with sweat, which I know is absolutely gross, but it is what it is. It's too hot. Ugh. Okay, lots of town growth. Siwa has grown. Jerusalem has grown. Put it in now because we have all the money. And Alexandra has finally grown to the biggest possible size. Faction announcements. That's all good. Right, recruitment is happening. Oh, sit on, sit on's fine. Um. Let's get us be able to get ourselves some better ranged troops here on our frontier. We train all of that. Another unit there. Antioch has just had another unit of peasants. Roads. You've got one, two, three, four units of archers. So that's good. Keep churning out those. And we need to recruit the units that we have lost. Okay. Memphis. Will you now have large temple to Horus? Good for you. Okay, you are getting quite close now. Um... What do we want here? We might as well start putting in some cavalry. So well, we've just put something in. Petra. It's the last thing we can get. We've already sorted that. And that. Alicarnassus we've sorted. Roads. What do we want here? Prob mm. Do we want something to combat corruption? No. No need. So we might as well... Well, we either put in an armorer or a city barracks. I'm going to go for an armorer for now. Tarsus is already sorted. Hatra has a temple to set, which is definitely needed. And that takes down that. Oh, that's better. There we go. Get rid of that. And Sardis. Hmm. So what's that going to do? That's, that is going to help us increase some more public order. That's going to be... Ten yeah, I'm going to put that in for now because it saves us more money and gets us an additional 10% public order, so that's going to be a good thing. Okay. I serve your will. 
None, sh none shall see me. I serve your will. I want to make sure there are no like Ponton armies in around here that I am not aware of. I don't like surprises. Okay, let's move over there. You chaps coming over here. Continuing your long march across the desert. And we are building our army here. Who are we going to take? You. You look good for an 18 year old. Damn. You're going to be a good general. So. You boys in there. Uh, cavalry will be you two. All of you. And we've still got how many slots left? Five slots left. Um. So that leaves two slots. Now we only have two bowmen. Ideally, we want more. So, whilst they can't be Pharaoh's bowmen, because that's going to take too long, we'll put bowmen in there. Can we get bowmen anywhere else? No, we can't. Hmm. It's annoying. Um... Maybe another Axeman instead? Yeah, let's go for another Desert Axeman. That sounds like a good, sensible plan. And then that stack will be ready and we can start moving it over here. Let's just move over our spy. Okay. It's only 50%. We want perhaps some easy, easier pickings because we do need spying oh, I don't know if that was the most sensible thing in the world actually we'll go after that we just don't want this spy to die so we want to just take a little bit more care why is that army still just sitting there like an absolute muppet I don't get that Ready to sail. okay what are we doing over here? What are we doing? Okay, so this is what we want to move on. My liege. My liege. If we do that... Oh, didn't move everything else. We've only got one unit of cav. Move out. Assuming a retreat. Yep. Now, peasants in there. Now, was I going to move this army over? I think I was actually. I think I was going to do this. Down. I put that there. Okay, that's fine. So I can do that. And that. There we go. That's not bad. We can give you... Some more peasants, I think. And now we've got a stack here that we can start moving around. Now, I could start putting some posts here, but I don't think I need to do that. So, let's just start moving north. Not the best army in the world, but it will do. I'm thinking time for me to start attacking there or I could repurpose the army and really go hard in against the Skippy Eye I'm not sure what I do think I actually need to do is start making an army to start that can retake Alexandria once we make it revolt so that's probably going to be my next little project because we're going to want to exterminate the settlement Okay. Oh, spy. 
who shall die this day. Death approaches. 92%. We got him. Have it. But it's hot. It is so hot. Okay, oh. Assassin ready. I He's definitely dead. am gonna take him out next. Yep. Who's expanding now? Salamis? Have yourself a council's chambers, my friend. Oh, new general, another one over here. Great, just what we need. Okay, the Pontons have declared war on us. That's actually quite convenient. Another unit of you in. That's good. Rhodes, keep going. Sardis, keep going. Petra, you've done your retraining. Your sorted Thebes. Ah, yes. Okay. Um... Uh, da, 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 da. I it doesn't necessarily matter what we go for first. Um, I think I will go for the archery range first, just so we can start getting good archers from more than just more places than just Memphis. Salamis now has its walls. Lovely. Oh, I'm already building something at Sardis, so that's fine. Get rid of that. Jerusalem is sorted. Bostra. Uh, have a militia barracks. Why not? Antioch. Oh, corruption is high. There we go. That'll sort you out. That's all our building down. That's that sorted. Okay, let's... You know your boy loves watchtowers. There we go. Just make sure there's nothing lurking in around here. Doesn't look like it. Okay. We will deal with these rebel armies at some point. When I deem it necessary. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of letting these mercenaries just lay idle. Mighty General, sire. So I think I'll make them actually Mighty move on. Forward. Give them to Mighty you. Because I do want Pergamum. How easy is it for you to get in there? Very easy. In you go. What have they got? Is he now... Ah, oh, he's doing nothing. Excellent. Hmm. We need to send you somewhere that you can start making some money. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's put you in there. That's like 500 to 10. Okay, that's a that's a stack. Mostly of Eastern infantry, which is fairly trash. And some hillmen who aren't that much better, so we don't need to worry too much about that. What do we got here? Just a normal governor, hillmen, and Pon Pontic heavy cavalry. Okay, they look decent. And what is your general's bodyguard? Eastern general. Okay, you're quite you're quite handy. Death 
Yeah, we got a very good chance of getting rid of everyone there. Yeah, let's take just the trash out of here. And do that. Then that frees us up. To do that. Okay. I can't necessarily see what's coming. But I think we'll be alright. Oh, population is not happy here. Why? What's wrong? Culture penalty? Screw you. Hmm. Okay, we do, We perhaps do need to address the culture penalty. Let's start by just lowering that tax. Retrain you, add in another unit of peasants. Okay. You're almost there, guys. It's been a long old road, but you're nearly there. You're now in Parthian territory. Now, do we want to attack the Pontans up here or the Parthians over here? I'm going to say... Hmm... You know what? Let's head north. Let's just see what's up here. I'm sure it'll be fine. How's my boy there doing very, very well? He's getting a bit old. That's okay. He's still doing well. And we need to complete this army. Okay, one more. And it was coming from here. Right. Onward. We are going to get you into the ships. Oh, bastards. We'll sort you out. Silly pontons. Send you down there. Let's move. Okay. Can't see anything yet. My eyes are yours. What's going on here? Oh, a siege. Well, maybe you should move out of there and bloody. Oh dear. What a shambles. What an absolute shambles. Okay. Let's roll the dice there. We're moving up there and we're moving over to Seleucia. My ears are yours. Unseen. Let's just try and make short work of this. Get rid of all that. Oh, that's going to be so, so easy. And we've got quite a high chance of opening the gates as well. Oh, that's Carthage. I don't think we've spoken to Carthage yet. Storm. Oh, balls. It's annoying. I, great lord. Yes, mighty lord. The news have expanded. And the good works continue. Iconasis is already sorting itself. Another unit there. You know what? Actually, no. We'll just do two because then we're going to have to retrain there. Tarsus is now doing all right. Sardis, we're going to put in a couple. Right, Sidon now has its council chambers. Good. Now, what does that mean? What can we now do? That we don't already. 
Catapult range. Okay. It's gonna add a hundred. I feel like we should just at least build some basic farm more basic farming. Okay, you lot aren't happy. Why not? Still having a bit of a cultural penalty. So let's fix that cultural penalty by doing that. And giving you another unit of peasants. Like so. Amaya. Damascus. How's the uh, A little bit of corruption, nothing too major. Gonna add on 50. Hmm. Public order is very good though. Let's do that. Why not? Improve our farming. Ah. We do want more growth here, so I shall add that in. Good. Okay, so the silly old pontons are... Ships ready. Prepare to engage. Rethinking. General. Onward. I need to move you with a decent fleet. I'm not leaving you vulnerable. No, sir. Do that. Okay. Let's have a look. Oh, dear. Okay. That was easy. I mean, we're definitely exterminating that. Well, that was easy. I didn't. I didn't expect them to have abandoned the settlement. Okay, destroy that. We are going to have quite a significant cultural penalty here, and we do have a corruption issue. Okay, so let's repair those two. Pop in a temple to set. And we're going to lower the tax rate. And we're going to retrain all our troops. Because it looks like they've got... Yeah, they've got a good armourer. So that will certainly help. So we're now taking the fight to the Pontons. Okay, I think that is where I'm going to wrap things up for this uh, episode. We'll, we'll begin next episode by putting this general to good use and start killing the Pontons as we go north. We shall also properly begin our war with Parthia and we shall be moving our army over towards the Scipii again to take the war to them, seeing as they, uh, they massacred us. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please uh, leave the video a like. If you've got anything to add, drop me a comment down below and please do consider subscribing. And until the next one, bye for now.